Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna share with you how I'm going to document the story behind these oranges. Right now I have a lot of pictures so there is a technique that I want to share with you. Basically what I do is to create the layout on Photoshop. Here you can see I have both pictures with a little bit of scrapbook paper and a lace and this image I printed out on a scrapbook paper, those papers that are white on one of the sides. So by doing this, I just have my pictures there. I don't have to cut them or glue them. The only thing that I have to do is to decorate this layout. I really love to use this technique when you have a lot of pictures to document because it is extremely fast. You are going to see it. What I'm doing is I'm going to use these papers that I have, which are in a terrible shape. But um, that is perfect because it allows me to break them down or glue them or stamp them without feeling guilty. Some of them has these amazing stamps, which I don't, under I don't understand why an invoice needs a stamp, but they have it and it is perfect. I just remove the back side of the paper and I can glue it like a regular stamp. Here my intention is to glue this camera sticker in that white square, but I don't like it so I finally decided to glue some paper and to create the exact same background that has all the top side. This is what I was telling you before, if these papers were in perfect condition I will never ever break them down, but as they are like crap. I can do it. Um, for my journaling I'm going to use one of these pages which are really really old. Actually they have that yellow color that we all love and we try to get with tea and coffee but we'll, we'll never get it. <laughs> and on top I'm going to glue this bingo card because I feel like I win lottery with these oranges. They are so amazing. They are from my parents' apartment. They have an apartment in the coast of Spain, so they have an orange tree. So they can bring me these amazing oranges, so I feel so lucky for it. So these are the feelings and the story that I want to write down um, about these oranges, and I will use the backside of that paper to do it. After writing the date and some comments, I can call this layout done. And let me tell you that my winter journal is full. So I'm really thinking about starting my spring journal, which I made two months ago, but I just have it there waiting for me. So I will probably share a couple of videos more about this journal and I will start with my spring journal oh, I love it <laughs> so sorry for that girls but I really love my spring journal so I send you a huge hug and see you very soon bye bye